Good evening. Thank you for joining us for our Wednesday night service. And thank the Lord for uh, the day that He's blessed us with. And thank Him for all the many blessings and uh, God has bestowed upon us. And I think about what David said there in the book of Psalms, how He daily loadeth us with benefits and and His blessings. And it's a uh, we are we are. Uh, Greatly blessed and odd and highly favored. And well, we thank the Lord for all of His goodness. Uh, we've got much to be in prayer about tonight. Many that need our prayers. And let's um, pray for all the the, uh, the sick and these that uh, has had uh, the COVID virus. And this member, Shirley Banks, his uh, mother, she had a uh, uh, pacemaker uh replaced there this week and uh, everything went good there so we thank the lord for being with her and um surely also uh um sent me a text here and a uh, request in prayer for uh, um says uh my daughter's uh, uh friends my daughter's her name is uh, april um and she has had a stroke that left her completely paralyzed she is in her her 40s and is uh, mentally challenged uh, she has given up the will to live and her mom my friend is is uh, devastated so uh, that's a friend of uh, of Shirley's there so let's let's remember uh, that family in that situation we might not know them personally but but God sure does and God knows their name and God knows uh, uh, where uh, uh, where uh, exactly what what she needs and when she needs it and let's pray for her uh, her her name is april there so let's pray for pray for april uh, so remember all these others in our church that's dealing with different things and sicknesses and not just covid but there's other sicknesses and uh, folks dealing with uh, different things and uh, let's just pray that uh, god's uh, uh, grace and, and strength be upon each one, and uh, let's remember, let's remember our church, remember our our uh, congregation, and pray one for another. I say that a lot, but it's very important that we pray one for another. And uh, let's remember the service tonight. God's will be done. Let's, uh, let's go to the Lord and pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, tonight, God, for your blessings. And thank you, Lord, for your grace and your strength. Lord, we just pray, Lord, tonight, God, that you just uh, uh, have your way, your will, in each and every one's life. Lord, those that, that are, are sick tonight, and I pray, God, that you be with this young lady named April. I pray, God, that you'd touch and heal her body. Be with her family. God, strengthen them. Your will be done there in that situation. Be with others in our church that uh, that's dealing with sicknesses and different things going on. We just pray, Lord, that your uh, inter hand of intervention be upon them tonight. And we know, God, that you can turn it around because you're God. And, Lord, we're so thankful tonight that our faith and our trust is in you. And we just pray your will be done. Bless everything that's said and done tonight. Bring glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Pray for Danny as he sings. I woke up this morning This thought on my mind That God had been good to me was good all Eternal. 
I look back and consider where I'd be today without God's holy mercy. Mighty the way, not based on my goodness, but His undying grace. How true that is. Not because I've been good, but God is so good to me. Man, the Bible says, not of works lest any man should boast. There's nothing we've done to, to merit uh, God's favor. Uh, but He's loved us and He's, He has, uh, the, Bible, the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I'm glad of that tonight. Thankful for the grace of God who's loved us and, and, and had, had mercy on us tonight. Thank the Lord for what we feel in our heart. Good to be here tonight. Um, thank the Lord. Begin to think about the scripture there in, in Galatians chapter number 6 and verse number 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word tonight. And we just pray, Lord, tonight, God, that you'd just get us out of the way. And you'd get, Lord, just uh, your glory and your honor tonight. And Lord, you just, uh, your name be glorified and honored and manifested tonight. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Get us out of the way and you have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thought about the scripture tonight of them. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Thought about how that um, it is easy as God's people, as children of God, to, to get weary. And uh, we, we do get weary sometimes. And the Bible says in. in uh, come, in, come unto me, all ye that labor, Jesus said, and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. I believe that scripture right there I, was for those that are weary in well doing. I believe as God's people, a lot of times we we have the, the, the greatest intentions and, and we want to see uh, 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 God to move in, in, in people's lives. We want to see God move in our life. We want to see God move in our church. And we, wanna, we want to, uh, the Lord to have His way. But a lot of times, if we're not careful, when uh, there's long-term uh, maybe sicknesses and long-term situations, maybe the, 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 the long-term storms that's not going away, but the, that are still here, that's been here a while. Kind of like, uh, you know, uh, I thought about sicknesses. You know, a lot of times when someone has a long-term illness, uh, it's easy to get weary and well-doing, ain't it? I thought about uh, even with this pandemic, it's a long-term thing, ain't it? Uh, we we uh, uh, how that uh, we see that um, we're still having to social distance, still having to 
do live stream like we are and and, and different things that we're having to do and it's it's long term and but but it's very easy to get weary and well doing. Uh, but I'm glad tonight that, that God knows all about us and God knows where we're at. God knows what we need and when we need it. And and, and I'm thankful tonight it's just like a just like planting season. Amen. Uh, when you go sow the seed in the spring, you can't uh, expect uh, uh, for a harvest to be the next week. And, and I believe in our Christian life, and there's there's got to be some growing pains, and they got to be some things. And I, I thought about how that God is has really uh, 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 put us to the test. I believe He's put a lot of God's people to the test and here lately during these times, and and it is a, a trying time. Time, uh, but but it, it also shows us uh, uh, where we stand with the Lord and what we how how we need to grow in the Lord, Amen. And and I thought about how that it takes a it takes a a, a, a dedication and it takes discipline. That's the word discipline uh, uh, to uh, uh, to to study God's word, and it takes discipline to cut the. TV or the, the computer on and, and watch the services, don't it? And how that uh, it is easy to get weary and say, well, well, it's uh, it's not the same. And, and, and I agree, it's not the same. It's not the same to come and assemble ourselves together. But but let me say tonight that, that if God has brought us to this point, and, and I believe that God will see us through it, and God will feed His people, and God will give us that grace and the strength we need. And so I want to encourage you tonight to not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, the trial in your life, the sickness, maybe long-term things that you're facing, and you might even be struggling tonight. But I'm glad God knows how to, uh, to send that that's needful when we're struggling. Amen. We all go through things in our Christian life, and I believe that, that these trying times uh, has tried us all. I don't care how long you've been a Christian. I don't care how long you've been saved. Amen. There, these long-term uh, uh, storms and things that we face, uh, it tries us, don't it? And, and it's very easy to get weary in well-doing. Well-doing is, is trying to live right and do, right, do the right thing. And, and keep the right motives and, and keep the right perspective and, and, and really uh, I have the, the, uh, the, the right attitude and the right behavior and the outlook on things. But that's hard, isn't it? When, when it's just uh, seems like day in, day out, just bad news, bad news, cut the TV on it, uh, the news and hear bad news, read the newspaper, bad news. And, and, and you say, preacher, it's hard. I, I agree tonight, it is hard. But I'm thankful tonight that God still knows uh, what we need and God uh, will provide. God will send the rain just like that three and a half years of Elijah there uh, where, where God said, don't you go down there and don't you tell Ahab it ain't going to rain for so many days here. And, and God uh, uh, dried it up there. It didn't rain for three and a half years. Uh, but then when it come the time uh, for the rain, uh, Elijah went there and sent his messenger out there. And, and the Bible says that he come back and he said, I see a cloud about the size of a man's hand. And, and uh, Elijah said, I hear a sound of abundance of rain. And let me say tonight that that's just like it is in the blessings of God. Sometimes we got to go through these droughts and Sometimes we got to go through these hard times, uh, but during these times, God, uh, 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 God uh, teaches us and God strengthens us. Think about a, a tree that that is uh, uh, in a drought. Those roots of a tree or a plant, any kind of plant, during the drought, during the dry times when the water is not a uh, uh, plentiful up around the surface, those roots goes deep. And and they the, there's they're what they call a tap root. That's the main root of a of a plant. And that tap root goes deep. I, I think about a holly bush. A holly bush has got the the biggest tap roots of anything I've ever seen. And and, uh, and what them tap roots do? They go down and they 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 keep going deeper and deeper till they find water. 
And, and uh, uh, you know, what's happening, the deeper they go, uh, is the stronger founded that that plan is. I believe as God's people, we need to dig deep in God's Word. We just need not to scratch the surface. And I, I, I believe that we need to uh, uh, not only know just the, the first principles and oracles of God of, of, of basically uh, just uh, knowing uh, of salvation and of how to, how to uh, be saved. And I, but I believe we need to dig deeper in God's Word and, and grow in, in, in God's Word. Amen. It's good to know about Noah and good to know about David and Goliath and good to know about these these uh, uh, Bible characters that we knew about and learned about when we were little. But but I was thinking about how that we need to dig deeper in God's Word and and know uh, what God's Word is saying about the times we're living in, about the day that we're living in, about the day of the Lord, about when the Lord's coming back, and and knowing these things. You say, well, well, preacher, I don't understand it. Well, it's very important that we read it and believe every word that we read whether we understand it or not but it's very important that we know what the word of God's saying amen when you know what the Bible's saying and what the world is saying uh, you know the difference you know the truth amen I, I think about uh, 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 in, in our life uh, 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 when we grow uh, uh, closer to the Lord and, and, and dig deeper, uh, these storms of life won't blow us over near as much. We won't get weary and well-doing near as much if we get deeper in God's Word and grow in the Lord and, and get rooted and grounded in love and the love of God. And rooted, I believe when we're rooted and grounded in love, our feelings won't be on our shoulders, will they? We won't be uh, so easy. Easy to, uh, to be mad and I won't have a chip on their shoulder. A lot of people's got a chip on their shoulder, don't they? I believe they need to be rooted and grounded in the love of God. They'll love like Jesus and they'll forgive like Jesus. Amen? When we're rooted. And, and you think about, uh, we like to think about being on the mountain. And it's good to be on the mountain. It, it, it's, a, it's a great feeling to be on the mountain. But you think about those, the, them trees that's down there in the valley. They're, they're, uh, uh, they're, they're deeply rooted. A lot of times, uh, the, the dry times is, is down there in the valley. And, and, and uh, those trees that are, that, are, uh, that are rooted, have you ever seen a tree that's blowed over by its roots? And, and notice those roots, they didn't go down as much as they went out. And they have like what you'd say fiber roots and, and on top of the ground. They're not rooted so they didn't take the storm. There's a lot of people tonight that, that are not rooted and, and, and grounded. You know, uh, I believe when we're in the will of God and when we're, uh, when we're walking according to God's will for our life. And I believe God has a will for every one of us tonight. It's not His will that any man should perish, but all come to repentance. First of all, His will for us is to be saved by, by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I thought about what Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. He said, Father, if it be Thy will, let this cup pass from Him. Nevertheless, not my will, but Thine be done. Jesus said in John chapter number 6, He said, For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but for the will of Him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which have given to me, He hath given to me, I should lose nothing, but I should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of Him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on Him may have eter everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. I, I, you know, you think about uh, how Jesus, uh, how that he was focused upon the will of his Father. And how that, that's an example to us to be focused on the will of the Father in our life. I believe we need to be focused on that more than anything that's going on in our life. When, that, when we have that in perspective... 
when we have God's will, number one, focused in our life of doing what God wants us to do, amen, everything else in our life will fall in place. We wonder sometimes why everything is going haywire in our life. And I believe sometimes that we've got uh, things out of perspective. Sometimes we got God down here when he should be up here. God is a jealous God. He'll be first or he'll be nothing. Amen. So in our life, when we think about the doing the, the will of God and the, the perfect, God's will is perfect. Amen. It's without flaw. God's will is complete. And God's will will make you complete. Amen. Uh, we think of that word perfect as just being without flaw, but, but that word perfect also is uh, in, in other places through the Word of God is used of describing completeness. Amen. Job was a perfect and upright man. He was complete in the Lord. You and I can be complete in the Lord tonight when we are in the will of God. When you're doing your own will, you'll be miserable. I believe a lot of people's miserable tonight, don't you? I believe a lot of people's trying their own way and they're miserable. But when you live your life to please the Father and in the will of God, you will be complete. When everything is complete in your life, it don't take as much money. It don't take as much uh, materialistic things. It don't take a lot of things of this old world to make you happy. When you've got, when you're complete in the Lord, amen, you're happy. When you know that God is pleased with your life, you'll be pleased. You'll be, you'll be happy with yourself. I know a lot of people uh, tonight, they're, they're not happy. I, I, and they, they can't get along with people and they can't even get along with themselves because they don't have peace. Man, you get in the will of God and to get in the will of God, we, we have to clean old, old self out. You know, I think about what John said. He said, I must decrease that he may increase. He was speaking about his ministry, but I believe that's a, a, a prime example of us. The way we should live our lives must decrease, mortify our members that we may please the Lord and that God may be pleased with our life. I thought about the, 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 the different uh, 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 scriptures there uh, about the, the will of God and, and, and having God's favor in our life and, and, and living uh, that life that, that, that's pleasing to the Lord and knowing what the will of God is. You know, I believe a lot of times in our life that, that we choose what we want and try to make it fit into God's plan. I was, I was having a conversation uh, with someone today and I said, you know, uh, that things that don't work in our life, things that's not God's will, but we try to make it God's will and we try to make it work, it will make the situation a whole lot more complicated than it is. I believe a lot of times when we've prayed about something and God hasn't given us the green light, but we go ahead and do it anyway because we want to or that's the way we want to go. And how many of us has done that? How many of us has went that direction? Oh, me. I, we, we've all, uh, uh, no doubt, sometimes we, we knew what God's direction, we knew we didn't feel good about it, or maybe, maybe but we went ahead and we'd done it anyway. Then we had to pay the price later on. I found myself in awfulest messes simply because I didn't listen to the will of, the will of God in my life. And then there have been times where and I knew God's will, but the old flesh didn't want to do it. But I knew that if God was telling me to do it, I knew God was going to bless and I knew God would get the glory and honor out of it. And, and, and listen... Doing the will of God is not doing the will of the flesh. And the Bible tells us to walk in the Spirit and will not obey the th things of the flesh, the lust of the flesh. And, and this old flesh don't want to do the will of the, uh, will of the Father. 
but the Spirit of God that's within us will lead us and guide us and direct us. When you follow the Lord, when you are in the will of God, not the will of man, but the will of God, you're not going to please everybody. Jesus, and I think about this, not everybody was saying holy, holy. Not, not everybody was saying Hosanna on Palm Sunday. But a lot of even the, a lot of the people that were saying Hosanna on Sunday was, was crying crucify on Friday. Now, a lot of people today that, 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 that are, that are uh, uh, not proclaiming the name of the Lord. I, I think about how that a, a lot of, a lot of, of people that, that, are, that are not living for God, that are not in the will of God, they're miserable. They're miserable. They're trying to find that peace in the wrong places. They're trying to find themselves in the world. But you'll find yourself at the foot of the cross. You'll find who you are and who you really need to be at the foot of the cross. At the foot of the cross, you'll see that you're a sinner. You'll see that you are headed to a devil's hell. But at the foot of the cross, you'll also see a Savior. You'll also see the blood that was shed on that cross. And I'm thankful at the foot of the cross, the ground is level. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich into all that call upon His name. The ground is left. No matter who you are, where you've been, where you're from, the ground is level. He is faithful and just. A lot of people are respecters of person. God is no respecter of person. No matter who you are, where you've been, what nationality you are, no matter what country you're from, no matter, no matter uh, 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 who your parents is, you know, there's a lot of favoritism in this old world. It's, it's all in who's young and you are. Well, I've said this before, I'll say it again. When it, on the day of judgment, it'll be on who's young and you are. It'll be if you're God's children. If you belong to the Lord, if you're a child of the King. That's all that's going to matter on that day. Amen. But, but a lot of times we, we look, well, I've got to do this or I've got to do this in this life. But the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die and after this the judgment. We need to be focused more on our soul than any other thing. And let me, let me say this. Not only to the lost do they need to be focused on, on, on and think about leaving this walk of life and being prepared to meet the Lord and being saved. But even as, as the child of God, we need to be focused upon the will of God in our life that others may see our good works and glorify the Father which is in us. We need to be focused on God getting glory out of our lives instead of us trying to get glory out of ourselves. A lot of times we get things out of perspective and we, we try to, we, we want this to happen in our life and we want this to be happening in our life. But when you are led by the Lord, you might not necessarily do everything that you feel like you need or you want to do or whatever. But when you are living the life that's pleasing unto the Lord, things life is worth living. Your marriage will work. Your relationship with your kids will work. Your relationship with your family will work. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. And I believe that when we are living for God and our life is pleasing unto the Lord, I believe that's the best life. And, and, and it's not necessarily that we, we will be at uh, uh, live a life without any problems or live a life without any, uh, any kind of a sickness or anything bad happening to us. Uh, these bad things, he said he'd, he'd have let it rain on the just as well as the unjust. That doesn't mean God's not sovereign. 
I, when, when bad things happen to good people, when bad things happen to God's people, that doesn't mean God don't love you. That means it's just life. It, it's a part of this life. Bad things is going to happen. Uh, we're susceptible to sickness and sorrow and, and, and these old uh, uh, things that, that, that happens to us in this life. But I'm thankful it's not a part of the life to come. Amen. But when we live the life that's pleasing under the Lord, and I think about what any can he had a testimony that he pleased God. What a great testimony. That means he was living the will of God in his life. God's will for your life might be different from somebody else's life. And God has a, a, a plan for all of us. Just like he's called some preachers, some teachers, uh, uh, some uh, uh, singers, and, and, and some, uh, uh, some pastors, and some evangelists, and, and different offices, and deacons, and trustees, and, and different things throughout the church. Uh, but uh, you think about everybody's got to a different office, but we're all a part of the family of God, uh, of the body of God. Uh, the Bible speaks about the, 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 the right hand. Can't say to the left hand, I have no need of thee. But everything has uh, a, its uh, uh, own office and, and own uh, uh, job. Uh, uh, but everybody's working together in the same body for the same one. And that's God. Amen. When we're working in unity, when we... And let me say, if you're in the will of God, you will work in unity. Amen. Unity is when we are living the life that's pleasing unto the Lord. Amen. We'll get along, won't we? That don't mean we'll always agree, but we'll agree to disagree and love one another in unity, won't we? Uh, but when we are living that life pleasing unto the Father, amen, all of our goals will be to lift His name up. And if we lose sight of God being glorified in everything we do, no matter what it is, uh, whether, it, whether it's singing, preaching, uh, whatever we do in our church, if we lose sight of God getting glory, we've lost sight of it all. Amen. And, 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 and I believe tonight, especially more now than ever, I believe if we all focus on our relationship, not somebody else's relationship with the Lord, but focus on ours tonight. Amen. Because you're not going to give account for your neighbor. You're going to give account for yourself. And, and I, I don't know about you, but I want to finish well. Amen. I want to finish well. I don't want to have more wood, hay, and stubble that's going to be burned up. But I want to have precious stones. Amen. Gold and silver and precious stones to lay at His feet. Amen. And that's the, the righteousness that's in Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I want to I uh, uh, lead souls uh, uh, to the Lord. And I want to tell people that, that you don't have to go to hell. That there's a man named Jesus and there's a better way to go. I uh, threw him by Jesus Christ. Amen. And, and, and uh, uh, when we are focused upon God getting glory out of our life, a lot of these things uh, I won't weight us down. And I don't believe we'll be near as weary as we are sometimes. But when we get within ourselves, we can get weary. When you're running on your own strength, you'll get weary. But when you're running on God, when you're running on the strength of God and that heavenly manna that comes from on high, God will see you through these things. That's the message tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word tonight. And help us, I pray, to do your will, the will of the Father. Lord, and we thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Appreciate you tuning in tonight. We'll be back, uh, Lord willing, Sunday at 11 a.m. Pray you have a good week. And uh, if anybody needs us, uh, holler, holler at us anytime. Uh, and we uh, look forward to being back in, in church here in a couple weeks. And uh, look forward to that, I really do. And uh, let's just keep hanging in there and uh, let us not be weary and well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Good night. God bless you.